Christine, family members tonight just shared a photo of that victim who was killed. Uh, this is 32-year-old Hector Robinol. He's a father of two, and his family members, his roommates, are actually at the scene right now at this growing memorial for Hector. Uh, police say he was killed and his cousin seriously hurt as they were just trying to cross this street in broad daylight to sell fruit. They were like the sweetest people ever. You know, at the end of the day, they would bring us fruit if they had leftover. Crystal says a lot of people knew and loved the street vendors who were hit by a suspected drunk driver while trying to cross the street in Ontario Monday. That really kind of like bothered me. Walter DeCroy says the vendors kept their cart in this field off Euclid Avenue and Riverside Drive and that they were waiting for cars to stop before trying to cross the street. But he says the collision happened suddenly. He went flying and fruit went everywhere and uh, he was dead in the street over here. Ontario police say one street vendor was killed and the other seriously hurt when the driver of this white van hit them both while trying to speed past a car that had stopped to let the vendors pass. What, what I don't understand is why didn't she stop or slow down at least, you know? Detectives say the 34-year-old driver was going so fast, one victim was dragged about 20 feet while the other was thrown down the road. The van came to a stop after hitting a fire hydrant. He was just trying to earn a living. DeCroy ran to the scene where he says he couldn't help but notice the driver's behavior seemed bizarre. She said, I just killed two people, but she was fooling around in a van like, I don't know, she was trying to hide something or whatever. That driver was arrested and is now facing charges for driving under the influence and vehicular manslaughter. Doesn't get any more screwed up than that. And friends like Crystal are left feeling like this tragedy could have been prevented. People need to be safe. Think twice because people are just trying to make a living, you know, so it's hard. It hasn't even been 24 hours since this tragedy. As you can tell, family members still trying to process this uh, grieving, but also still in total shock. The flowers and the candles that have been placed out here, just a very small reminder of how many people cared for these vendors in this neighborhood. Again, people have been stopping by all day. Uh, we should note the other vendor in all this, the cousin of Hector, he remains in critical condition tonight at the hospital. For now, reporting live in Ontario, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.